We know that when the market equilibrium changes, um, that is the market price changes, the firm's demand curve and marginal revenue curve is going to change as well. Right? So this will affect the firm's output and the firm's profits. On the left we've got our market for soybeans and on the right we've got the cost structure for one particular farmer in this industry. Now we take the market price, take it straight over, and that becomes the individual farmer's demand and marginal revenue curve. Now that we have marginal revenue and marginal cost, we can find the profit maximizing level of output, or Q star. At Q star, we go up until we hit the ATC and over. And in this case, since the ATC is higher than P star, this particular firm is earning a loss. Now let's suppose that it's determined that soy helps promote heart health. Well, we'd expect that this would increase the market demand for soybeans, thereby changing the equilibrium price and quantity. We'll take our new equilibrium price over to the individual farmer's graph. This gives us a new demand and new marginal revenue curve. Now, because we have a new higher marginal revenue curve, we have a new intersection with marginal cost. We have a new Q star, which we're going to call Q2. Now at Q2, we find the ATC, and we take it over. And we find, in this case, we're actually earning a profit and selling a higher output. Now because Fran is in a competitive industry earning profits, we'd expect other farmers to plant soybeans in the long run. This would increase the supply giving us a lower price, and in this case a higher quantity. We take that price over, we have a new demand and marginal revenue curve, giving us a new optimal level of output, and in this case the firm is breaking even.